As you can imagine, technique is everything. NHLiberty.org And he's telling you he wants the cameras off. He's in charge of the facility. That's all it has to, that's all that matters here. Adam Miller, Pete Ayer, courageously, but perhaps unwisely, letting the government pick the time and place. In this case, Massachusetts, at a time when there were only two activists present. Uh, you Let's can't go. Do that. Are you gonna... No, man. You should take your come hands on, off. Come on, come on. The situation here also is such that the police have taken pains to make sure that they, uh, they've uh, given quite a bit of warning. That makes them look a little less bad when they actually make the arrest. Now, this isn't the best example of what I'm talking about. Uh, Pete and Adam have gotten a lot of things right in this particular video. But I do want to posit the question, what is the right time and place to make a stand? The right issue? I don't remember his real full name off the top of my head. But is it better to get some of the answers from this man? His code name was Citrone. I don't know uh, how accurate the film is, but there was a, a great Danish film made about this anti-Nazi around 2009. The film's called Flame and Citrone. Or maybe it's Citrone and Flame, I can't remember. But there's a scene in the film that played out many times uh, well, it played out once in the film. It probably played out many times in the life of this resistance fighter. Citrone approaches a Nazi checkpoint on route from probably one act of resistance to another. Uh, but while he's at the checkpoint, he just meekly submits, you know, gives his papers, doesn't take any kind of stand for his rights or anything like that. He knows that's not the time, not the place, not the circumstance. He knows all he needs to do to win is just get through the checkpoint. And then once he's in his safe house, he can go about the serious business of picking a time and place of his own. You guys, up to? You, gotta go. you guys, I don't know you. This I don't know. Right? I don't like strangers putting their hands no, on me. If you don't leave, you're going to be Come placed on. under arrest. Do you understand me? This was a different circumstance from what Pete and Adam are facing here. And in truth, uh, the two activists did come out pretty much smelling like a rose after this incident because they won in court uh, in a jury trial. I have you all in the air case. If those two pieces are not yours, please step outside the hallway. No, no, no. That's me. She told us what the law was. Maybe this is a better example of taking the wrong stand at the wrong time in the wrong place under the wrong circumstances. If you've got some problem with some government law, the time to make a stand against it, the way to make a stand against it, it's not while the authorities have come chosen to enforce it on their terms, it's, uh, it's on your terms. What I've generally done, and I guess I've done it about nine times, uh, is uh, sort of come back. I'm going to ask you to put it down for me. I'm going to respectfully decline. I am audio taping set the time, place, and issue myself. Although I guess it's not always my own persecution that I'm taking issue with. Here's a hypothetical example of how well, we could do better in police encounters. I don't want to get out of the car, please. Why are you asking me to get out of my car? Because you've been doing something... I was getting my wallet out of my center console. Let's say you're Nathan Cox here and you're in Virginia, targeted by the police for a traffic stop. Nathan here, he's got some legitimate concerns. The, the trooper does seem a little out of control. Not as bad as she could be. The first thing is, don't raise your voice. Don't get mad. I know, I've done both of those things myself. It doesn't do you any good. And, you know, you don't have to make a stand over every issue, over whether or not you're going to exit the vehicle. Which, by the way, he didn't even really make a stand on that. He just didn't like it and complained about it and then, then complied. Anyway, well, I think the better thing to do in, in this position is... If you've got an issue with being asked to leave a vehicle, if that's your one of your big concerns, then maybe you comply here under protest, but you take the issue back up again at the time and place where it really counts, and you can put the troops in the field. First of all, you move to New Hampshire if you're in Virginia. You don't try to save Virginia. 
You look for a case where Manchester PD or some other police department has forced people to leave their cars inappropriately. And maybe you send out a news release. You say on such and such a day, at such and such a time, I'm going to drive around the Manchester Police Department until they pull my ass over. And then, when they stop me, I'm not going to get out of the car. And you invite all your buddies, and you make a media scene out of it. With the intent to get arrested if they call your bluff. But you know, the way this is, the way I've set up this scenario, what they would probably do is they probably wouldn't pull you over. Or... They might let you drive around for 30 minutes and eventually stop you and say, look, you're kind of interfering to some extent with the normal flow of traffic, and we'd appreciate it if you'd stop. We're not going to make you get out of the car and think you have a nice day. Well, then, end of story. They look pretty good. And also, uh, you, if you're the one scheduling this civil disobedience, don't get arrested, so it's not much hassle. But this way, you're picking the time, the place, and the issue, and you've got a chance to be strategic about it. You're not just tactically reacting. I don't understand why I'm being treated like this. What, can you, can, can you, you were up there making perfect movements in the vehicle, okay? You're, you're recording me. You're recording I, me. Ma'am, you know please don't touch me. I, I swear, I just won a lawsuit against the BCU police. I mean, this hot-headed kind of reaction is just really this is the kind of thing that turns a lot of people against activists. Now, I'm glad he did. Uh, record this and, and, and that he didn't, you know, uh, just go along with everything they were telling him to do, that he raised concerns and everything. Almost any resistance is better than no resistance. But there's a better way to do things. Think about Citron. Think about Sun Tzu. Think about picking the right time and place. Sun Tzu said of your enemy, if he is superior in strength, evade him. Now, you can't evade a trooper technically in this particular type of situation, but you can blend to some extent. You can just sort of slither through the traffic stop the same way an average person would, freeing you up, again, to set the time and place and issue. Liberty.org.